Hey kids, Rick is back. We're doing a repair today on a 200 watt, 24 volt 3D printer power supply that decided to blow up. Specifically, it is the NTC 15 ohm thermistor that is supposed to be protecting the rest of the circuitry of the power supply. As you can see, I've got half of one right there on the table. In my hands is a Hitachi projection television power supply board and it has what appears to be a pretty sturdy thermistor in there. Unfortunately, I can't identify it. There are no markings. But after visual inspection, I can tell it's not cracked and it's not in any sort of fatigue. So as you can see, I've got two posts sitting in the other board. I need to take those out and put the other thermistor from the television power supply into the 3D printer power supply. So I'm gonna go ahead and yank some screws doesn't take very long. There's only five on the base. Number five is a little bit tricky, but I think I can manage. Yeah, there we go. Now I've got two screws holding in some transistor clamps. That one right there. And we have that one right there. Do a little bit of tug, a little bit of jerk, see if I'm missing anything. No, it looks like I've got all of my screws out. So we just have to make sure we pull this out the right way, which seems to be a little bit to the top. And then there we go, out of the chassis, we are good to go. Move the hardware to the side so it doesn't end up where it doesn't need to be. And now it's time to go ahead and desolder. Pulling out my desoldering iron right there. It's nice and hot and ready. I'm going to go ahead and remove the two blank posts. Just a nice squeeze and a suck, a shake, blow out the excess. And the posts are out. Now it's time for the thermistor. and it's free. Now a lot of people will just go ahead and bypass the thermistor and either solder the two existing posts together that were in the power supply board or maybe just run a line between the two to bridge it. And when you short those posts out, what you're really doing is you're removing any kind of protection that the thermistor was designed to provide. which means if there's an overrun or if there is a surge, that's all gonna go through the power supply and damage the other components. So since you can see that they scratched the fuse out for some reason, rendering the fuse completely worthless, this thermistor is the only defense this power supply has against the usual issues that'll come up and destroy components. Now that we're all soldered in place, it's time to go ahead and throw it back in the chassis for testing. The reason I'm reinstalling this back in the chassis for testing is I don't want anything to happen to these transistors that are using the chassis as a heat sink. Now I do understand that this is going to be a very brief test under power with no real load, but at the same time I'm not really wanting to chance it since I've already done this work to get it to this point. There's no point in ruining the power supply just because I got lazy and I didn't want to secure the power supplies to their heat sink. So they're being clamped back in place. While I'm at it, I'm just going to go ahead and throw the five screws back on the board. Go in there straight, damn it. Do it. Do it. That's a good screw.
All right, we're all secured. It's time to do some testing. I found my multimeter, and I also have this lovely vacuum cleaner cord. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys in to the power supply inputs as indicated by the top part of the case because there's a lovely sticker that tells you where each wire needs to go. Get those guys in the terminals all clamped down nice and secure. We're gonna take the power supply and I'm gonna go ahead and put the probes into the 24 volt output terminals. I'm gonna go ahead and snug them down real quick. I'm not gonna clamp them, I'm just gonna make them snug so that they grab just enough that they don't, I don't have to worry about them slipping out. As you can see, I jiggled it a little bit and it comes out when you pull it. Now, I have a problem. I'm not sure what's going on. The power supply is plugged in, and yet I'm still reading less than a volt. The light's on. Oh, you idiot! This is a kind reminder that when you are testing electrical equipment, please make sure that your multimeter probes are in the proper position and pushed in all the way. Now that we figured out that the repair actually works, let's go put it back in the printer.